Yo Yo news. News. Welcome to five ingredient lemon drizzle cake. Uh, okay, so this is our fourth five ingredient cake and really the whole idea is to try to show you how easy it is. And can I tell you is. the story? So my daughter May came up with the recipe, she's nine, she wanted to have a bake sale in the driveway and this is her recipe. So it's simple, it's easy, it literally uses five ingredients and it kind of demystifies how simple baking can be. Here okay. we go. First step, we've got a bowl and we've got a sieve. We have 300 grams of self-raising flour. So self-raising flour, the difference between self-raising and normal flour is that it actually has the raising agent in it. So you're kind of saving on ingredients that way. So, and using a sieve, just make sure that it's not clumpy at all. Uh, so next up, we have 200 grams of icing sugar. To keep this just simple ingredients, we're using icing sugar for the cake and for the drizzle. So in it goes, 200 grams of icing sugar. And um, we're just gonna mix the flour and the icing sugar together. That's very good. Uh, then we're gonna mix our wet ingredients. So we've preheated our oven to 160 degrees. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a flax egg. So um, this is a vegan egg. So we have two tablespoons of ground flax seeds. You know, you could use golden or brown. And we're gonna put in six tablespoons of water. This is gonna function as the binder that's gonna help bring it together. So just mix that together and leave it sit for a probably five minutes until it coagulates. If you're looking for the full recipe for this, there's a link down below to the full written recipe. Thank you, May Flynn. Okay, time to mix our wet ingredients. We have 150 ml of neutral tasting oil, like sunflower oil, groundnut oil, safflower oil, etc. Now, time to make this lemony. We like it really lemony. We've increased it more than most uh, lemon drizzle cakes because we like it. <laughs> Vibrant. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna go with zest of two lemons, juice of three lemons. When choosing lemons, try to choose organic because non-organic often are waxed, so you will be eating wax, which, you know, probably best not to. Um, so get a microplane and just carefully go through. Try not to go too deep because you're gonna be getting the bitter aspect of the lemon. Next step, you're gonna take this incredible device called a knife and we're gonna slice our lemons in half. And then just pass them to your twin and he's gonna squeeze them in with the wet ingredients through his hand. You can be a bit lazy and just use the same sieve. Okay, we're gonna add in our flax. It's become a little bit thicker and it will thicken further in that goes in on top. Uh, we're gonna just mix that through, make sure all our wet ingredients are incorporated and the flax will just emulsify it all together. So make a well in the middle of our dry ingredients, add in our wet ingredients and incorporate. And fold it all together. Um, okay, so we're gonna use a one pound loaf tin. It's better, you'll get a much prettier looking loaf. Uh, you can use a two pound loaf tin, no bother. Uh, take baking parchment. Ideally, just grease your baking tin so the paper sticks to it. We just use some margarine or vegan butter. In it goes. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is transfer our batter into our one pound lined loaf tin. Uh, the great thing about a vegan batter is that you can always taste it, there's no egg in it. Mm. So just level it out after your, flit, your, your twin has uh, scooped mm. it. We've preheated our oven to 160 degrees Celsius. It is a fan assisted oven and we're gonna bake this for about 60 minutes until a skewer comes out almost yeah. perfectly dry. Yeah. So don't wait until the skewer is perfectly dry, almost perfectly, so then you end up with a moist cake. Okay, time to make our drizzle. Very simple, very easy, and again, using the same ingredients. So take a sieve. Uh, we've got 100 grams of icing sugar. We're just gonna add it into the sieve. Okay, so next thing in our drizzle is we're gonna use half a lemon. We're gonna squeeze in juice of half a lemon and that's really pretty much the drizzle. And make sure to keep the rest of the lemon because we're gonna use that to make zest to decorate our cake. Okay, so we don't have two of the same one pound loaf tins. So here is one we made earlier. So this is a two pound loaf tin. It does work fine. And this is an old rusty one from the kitchens in the cafe. Ta-da! So here's one we did earlier. Looks so cool. I love the kind of fact that this one's gone a little bit darker and the contrast between the white and the dark, I think looks beautiful. More caramelization. Okay, so transfer your cake to a beautiful plate. <clears throat> Take our drizzle, this is the fun bit. I love when you get little tears down the side. So obviously go right down the middle. Like don't worry if there are little cracks and it doesn't look perfect, that kind of makes it unique and special. Okay, and finally, all that's left to do is take the final half of a lemon, take your microplane zester, we're just gonna zest it on, just for the final little. Okay, that was simple. Five ingredient lemon drizzle cake. Took about 45 minutes. Most of the time it's in the oven, and here we go. It actually smells fab. Just to show you the inside. Boom. Yeah, Voila. Crumb. Okay. 
So slice your cake in half to share with your twin. Dude, five ingredient lemon drizzle cake. It's a very moist crumb, isn't it? I love it. Mmm. That's fantastic. That'll go great with a nice cup of tea and a friend. Be lovely. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this five ingredient cake, we've got four of the ones which we've done now. Um, so do check them out. I love the crispy crust. And um, yeah, thanks for being part of this community. We really appreciate it. If you want to learn more about vegan cooking, we have our ultimate vegan cooking course. There's a link to that down below too. And uh, yeah, sending out to love. Cheers. Cheers.